What's up, Frank family? Hey, check it out. Just over a year ago, Jason and I installed Race Deck Garage Door Floor Covering in my Corvette themed garage. Now, many of you have written in the comments section asking me how it's holding up and if I still like it. Well, today I'm going to give you my one year review, the top five things that I love about Race Deck, and the one thing that absolutely shocked me and made me question if I had made the right decision. So let's pull the vet out. I got a couple surprises and stick around. You won't want to miss this review. Welcome back to Protective Dad Pranks. When I first started out thinking about putting a garage floor covering, I pretty much had two options. One, epoxy or race deck. And the question that kept make, coming through my mind was, why do I want race deck over epoxy? Now epoxy is very durable, it does look good, but I also wanted something that I didn't have to tear my entire garage out and do a bunch of sanding, and I didn't want days on end where my car had to be outside. So I looked into race deck, and believe me, that is the best decision I've ever made. So one of the first things that I love about race deck is that it hides cracks, it hides oil stains, and it hides concrete imperfection, just like epoxy does. But the best part about race deck, you don't have to wait days to install this thing. Jason and I installed this in four hours. And regular epoxy can take up to two days with drying time. Which brings me to the second thing I love about race deck, the install. As I previously said, Jason and I installed this entire garage floor in about four hours. If you haven't seen that video, the link is in the description and it gives you the tips and tricks on how Jason and I installed this in just one afternoon. Now one of the questions I normally get is how hard is it to maintain this floor? Well to me, the number three thing that I love about this, it's really easy. This floor has been down for over a year and look how clean it is. And I'll tell you, all it takes is some low sizing cleaner like Pine Sol and a mop, a shop vac if you need to, and one of these great little bristle brushes you get from Lowe's or Home Depot, it'll make your life very simple. And mind you, this is Texas, this floor, we had snow one time, and look how easy it was to clean. But I'll tell you one thing that I do all the time, I get my little handy Dyson, and I vacuum this floor. My wife thinks I'm crazy because I'm constantly out here vacuuming the floor, but it helps keep down the maintenance, and it looks great. And on to number four, how does it handle on a daily basis? Unlike epoxy, the race deck, these grooves, they actually grab debris. I love it. You open up your garage door and the leaves normally would come into the back of the garage on epoxy. Well, these little grooves hold the leaves. They keep them from going back to your garage. It's fantastic. And a little debris just falls right through the cracks until you take the shop vac and vacuum it all out and you're good to go. The fifth thing I love about Race Deck is their warranty and their customer service. Unlike epoxy, this comes with a 20 year manufacturer's warranty. And you can take it with you when you move to your next house. I'll tell you one thing, when it comes to their customer service, it's phenomenal. Here's an example. When we were putting down the flooring, there was a couple pieces through my miscalculation that I messed up and there was about a whole foot around this whole perimeter that I messed up on. You know what they did for me? They overnighted it and I had the parts the next day at no cost. Now I'm not saying that they'll do that for you, but for me, they stood by their product on my miscalculation and they took care of me. That's a great company you wanna deal with. So let's talk about the one thing that actually shocked me. Early on, after our install, Jason came over and we were doing an install for YouTube and he backed his car in. And here's some photos of what happened. When he backed his car in, he was actually turning his front wheel because his front wheels were near the opening. Well, when that happened, all of a sudden I saw the whole race stick lift off the ground. It came up about a foot to two feet in the air and it freaked me out. I thought we either damaged the race deck or we damaged his car. So I had him turn his wheel back down. We pulled the car out and I contacted race deck and they said this is actually designed to do this because it's a free floating floor. Now, after knowing this happened one time, it's never happened again because I've stopped turning uh, the way we did with the power steering. But if you want it to stop, there's actually some floor matting you can stick underneath your garage uh, flooring to keep that from happening. It's never been an issue for me and it's never happened since. Which brings me to the questions I get most asked. Do I like it and would I install it again? So for those questions, I actually want to elicit the help of a couple of my buddies. And I'm going to bring them in and let them tell you what they think about the race deck and give you their opinion. So come on in guys. So. Here's my buddy Jason, you know him, front seat driver. And somebody you haven't met, this is Tim from Dad's Garage. 
Now let me give you a history of Tim and how I got to know Tim. If you look up in here, you'll see these white insulation uh, uh, panels that go in my garage. I was searching the internet and found his uh, very viral video. It's over almost to 300,000 right now. And uh, so I, I did what he said and, and took all his tips and his tricks. And then I contacted him, I didn't realize he was in the Dallas area. So we hooked up and now, through knowing Jason and I, he's actually a Corvette owner. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, Jason, let's, you, you were here for the install. Yeah. What, do you, what are your tips and things on this? I had a blast. It was actually not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be to install something like this because I don't usually enjoy it, but it was actually it was quick. It went together easily and it looks fantastic. I mean, the appearance is insane. It's, it's, it's magnificent. That's, that's what I want. I want something that's more bold. Oh, yeah. It pops. And, like. and it was fun watching him complain about his knees and his hands mm -hmm. with yeah. the ballot. <laughs> That's because I don't really work. <laughs> and now, Tim, this is the second time Tim's been here, but now um, you've been in here and seen What do you think about this kind I of I love it. I absolutely love it. It, it looks fantastic, yeah. first yeah. of all. And then the maintenance aspects of it that you talk about are just yeah. oh, yeah. great. It's easy. So I keep telling my wife, she's like, well, it's like a Corvette, it will sell. When I go to sell this house, this is, the guy's gonna walk in here, the guy's gonna want this just because of the way it looks. Yeah, right. So it's fantastic. But I wanna say thank you so much for taking the time to uh, come and look at this one year review. As always, if you have any questions or anything, go ahead and leave in the comments section. Subscribe now, not only to my channel, go over to Tim. Yeah. I want you to go to Tim's channel, subscribe to Dad's Garage and say, protect the dad Frank sent me here, and then, Go over to Jason. If you don't already, you probably already do subscribe to him. And also check this out. If you haven't noticed, we're wearing Vet Syndicate shirt. He's got one too. A Vet Syndicate started on Instagram and we are rolling it out soon to be on YouTube. We have a few followers. We haven't done much on it, but we're pretty big on Instagram. So go subscribe to us over at Instagram, same name, Vet Syndicate, and also on uh, YouTube. We're just getting started and there's more to come. So as always, we thank you. Have a good day and peace! <laughs> how did we do that? Because that's how every video you and I have done. I, I knew one was coming. I, you so. know what?